It has become quite clear, even after one of the most controversial signings we have seen probably yet this year and actually in a long time, when it comes to Twitch and their safety advisory council, after a post and statement by their own CEO, that being Emmett Shear, it seems pretty likely and fairly obvious they will not be firing ferociously Steph, despite all of the claims and clips resurfacing, as well as recent clips being brought to light as well. And this is just a, a very interesting time. I'm going to actually read a few parts of their statement, guys, and uh, combat those statements. Statements. I think a pretty lackluster response. If I'm being honest, I didn't really appreciate that. We've seen tons of top figures out there, personality streamers, content creators, even members of the own council speak out against this drama that's been uh, brought to light around ferociously Steph and a lot of her statements. If you guys have not seen my past videos on this, I'll maybe play, play you a few clips, but at this point, the list of things that she has done that I don't approve of, I find very unprofessional and I don't want on the Twitch council or safety advisory council, whichever you do refer to as. I can only replay these clips so many times before you either think it's a problem or you don't think it's one. So here is what Twitch CEO had to say about this past week. Of, of drama. First of all, Emmett leading off saying, last week we announced the formation of our Safety Advisory Council, a group of online safety experts and Twitch creators we brought together to advise on issues related to trust and safety at Twitch. We've sent, seen a lot of discussion and questions, as well as some concerns, and I want to provide some clarity to help everyone understand our thinking about the council's role and what we're doing next. We have sent, seen questions and discussion, as well as some concerns. I know they can't word it any other way, but it's incredibly funny when you have dozens of streamers out there and thousands of others talking about this across the entire platform, along with probably hundreds of thousands actually watching watching content about these concerns, and then you say it's, it's just some concerns. Uh, but I think it, it, they continue down this rabbit hole. The role of the council is to advise, offer perspective, and participate in discussions with our internal teams pertaining to the work we do to help keep our community safe and healthy. We made an intentional choice to recruit advisors with strong, independent opinions and the courage to challenge our thinking. You, you have got it. Are, are they trying to be ironic? We, on purpose, we chose advisors with strong, independent opinions to challenge... <laughs> I, I can't I don't even know if this is being if this is like a, a subtle troll like uh, back at Twitch They're joking about this like yeah, she has some strong She has some strong opinions right on like cis white males and white supremacy and a lot of gamers being white supremacists And then the whole voice chat controversy and of course, you know having power and being endorsed by Twitch and the fact that she is immune to bans Yeah, those are just strong Independent opinions that we love and that's why we chose her like that's just great stuff to have I, I honestly cannot tell if this is serious or or if behind the scenes they're like, this is kind of funny. Like, we did this and people are talking about it and like, we can't do anything and like, and like they can't do anything. Our goal is to hear a wide range of points of view informed by truly different people within Twitch and outside Twitch. Because a position on the council is not a test of ideology or endorsement by Twitch on a specific viewpoint, we expect the members of the council will sometimes have very different viewpoints from each other, from Twitch staff members, or from the official Twitch policy. We recognize that hearing from a diverse set of voices is valuable when crafting products and policies to serve our entire community. Well, I can guarantee you one thing. I really can. Ferociously, Steph certainly has different and challenging viewpoints and opposing viewpoints as people on that council. So if that's what they want to make as their guideline, then she fits the role very much perfectly. She challenges our way of thinking. She definitely has different opinions that a lot of people out there do. So if that's what their guidelines and requirements for were, the, were this council, then, then I guess Steph is a perfect fit. And very lastly, council members will not make moderation decisions, nor will they have access to any details on specific moderation cases. They are not Twitch employees and they do not speak on Twitch's behalf. While we value their opinions and their right to share them, they are independent actors who have opinions that are not shared either by Twitch, Twitch employees, or even by other members of the council. And this is the part that really gets to me. We have seen several top figures out there agree right from the start. I'm not calling myself a top figure, but right from the start when we talked about this, when it was first announced within 24 hours, we came out and said, I don't expect too much from this. This just confirms that. They are strictly a safety and advisory council. They can, apparently can have whatever opinions they want. We have proven they can have whatever opinions they want and nothing's really going to be done about it. The point that kind of blows my mind is the fact that they can actually be announced. They are on the Twitch safety and advisory council, yet they do not speak on Twitch's behalf. So can they literally say whatever they want? At what point is there a breaking point? If, if Steph can go out there and say the things that she has said and do the things that she has said and present them in the manner she has, then at what point is, is there a breaking point in saying, hey, 
Okay, we know you guys don't represent Twitch despite being on the Twitch council. I don't know how that correlates, um, but you have finally said or done something that is probably too far and we're going to kick you off. Is this forever going to be the council because they can literally do whatever they want because technically they're not a part of Twitch. They're not employed by Twitch. According to you guys, they're not endorsed by Twitch despite Steph saying the exact opposite, saying she is endorsed by Twitch and she has the power and you can't get rid of her. Whew. So, blood hanging in there. And uh, I'm not going anywhere. I have power. They can't take it away from me. And honestly, you know, I, the, the, these, there, there are some people that should be afraid of me. Eat them whole. We're gonna eat you. Yeah. We're gonna ban you from my stream. Then you're never gonna come back unless you spend more time making a second account, but we'll ban that too. You better watch out! Because I'm pretty cool, and you can't get rid of me, Twitch is endorsing me, and there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, I, I know it's not very uh, it's not a very good look when I, I get pissed off about this kind of stuff But I hope a lot of you guys can understand where I'm coming from I have never seen someone represent a larger portion of themselves especially when it comes time for representing I see them if you are twitch council you represent twitch in some sort of manner You might not might not actually speak on their behalf like they said But you definitely represent an image of twitch and certainly in the public eye There has been so many talking points around fer ferociously Steph and who else do they talk about? They talk about Twitch because she's on the Twitch council. I have never seen an individual out there paint themselves in a worse light in this short of a span of time and then double down. Even on the old clips that have been rehashed from way, way back in the day, she has doubled down and backed those points and those opinions. And now Twitch has come out and said, oh yeah, she's welcome to those opinions. She doesn't speak on our behalf. And uh, we didn't have to say it. We can't fire her. Just like we can't ban Alinity, she has to get on her knees and beg for a ban. Even then, we'll ban her for 24 hours, and she's right back in the platform. We cannot ban or get rid of Ferociously Steph. They have admitted this without even having to say it, and it does disturb me. If you guys have a counter opinion, I would love to read the comments on this video. These videos have been doing pretty well, reaching a lot of eyes out there. I would love to know your full thoughts and details on all this. Twitch has said it without even having to say it. They will not ban, they will not fire ferociously Steph, despite saying some atrocious things for anyone to be saying on the platform, let alone someone who represents the Safety Advisory Council, which apparently is not the Twitch safety advisor apparently just it's now the safety advisory council who apparently is composed of Twitch streamers or some sort of connection to Twitch that we don't know but they don't speak on their behalf crazy times crazy times Steph will remain in power we'll just see over the next week or couple of weeks or a few months what else surfaces and what else she says despite all of that hopefully it can be a learning point for her hopefully going forward as to how to act when you represent uh, a council and we'll see what this council does if they can actually do anything i have no idea until next time guys take care of yourselves all right drink your water drink your coffee stay hydrated i'll see you guys back here sometime soon